right, headed home on Thursday night, driving through the outer bands of the hurricane. Obviously, we don't have any weather yet. Um, what, what weather? I mean, rain yet. Uh, it's supposed to come later. I'm not sure when. Uh, it's a beautiful day, a little breezy, but not too bad here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, waiting for the heavy stuff to come. Um, expecting it soon. Not sure when because I've been just too busy uh, to watch the news, too busy with work. So, headed home to all the girls and uh, we'll see what's going on there. Alright, good morning. It's Friday morning, day of the arrival of Flo. Here's what we got for footage outside. Still got blue skies here, but as you can see right there, you can see the rotation. That is the rotation of the hurricane. It's going counterclockwise like it is on the radar. But you can also see the clouds moving quickly. All right, well, I'm headed to work today. The girls will be here hanging out, chilling out. Hopefully we'll get some reports from them. Uh, rain should start any time. Could even start them up. Okay, it's about 6.30 at night. Just about to leave work. Obviously, we haven't gotten the rain yet. Hasn't started. But uh, it's just a lot of storms moving in. As you can see behind me, about to get some rain. Um, the outer bands are th that way, which is the way home. starting to get the rain going. The rain from your hurricane flow. All right, so I'm coming home from work and look at this, the road's blocked. I can't, I, I don't know what's going on down there. It looks like maybe there's a tree down or power lines or something. Um, I'm gonna have to detour around this. All right, here's the tree that took all the power lines down. Looks like I'm not gonna get by here. Be the performer. All right, good morning. It is Saturday morning. It is raining out. Look at that. It's Jack and the Beanstalk over there. Everybody just finished breakfast inside. We're in the house now, staying dry. Um, this is where we had the generator last night outside. Got plenty of gas generators in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the garage. Um, as you can see, the water running out of the, the downspout. Um, no flooding here yet, but uh, supposedly for the next 20 something hours, we're going to be getting rain. I'd say it's going to be more like 30, so we will see. Hopefully, we won't get that much. So we're planning out our dinners now on the back porch by ourselves. The girls are inside watching movies. Do you like the last movie we watched? I didn't watch it. She didn't watch it. But uh, still drizzling out here. 
Steady drizzle. Think it's more than a drizzle? Okay. So what do you think of this storm so far? It's a storm. Yeah, speak up. It's a storm. All right, so we're headed out and about. Oh, they put the new pole back up. It's tough to see though. All right, that road is blocked, as you can see. All right, there's the public, it's packed. Oh, yeah. A bunch of people there, it's open. Um, looks like you got the traffic lights rolling back out here, because when I came home yesterday, these were all out. As you can see, there's a lot of people out here driving around, doing what they need to get done. I guess nobody's taking the heat or the warning to stay inside. Down like us. I guess we're going nuts. Yeah. All right. We're here because somebody has an issue. Look, people without umbrellas or raincoats. Real smart ones. Um, like I said, somebody has an issue, so we got to get something for them. All right. This is the reason why we came here for wine. Uh, let me show you uh, Wendy, and she has an issue. She drinks way too much and she needs her wine and this is what happens when she doesn't drink her wine. As you can see, the grocery store is not that crowded. Um, there are a few people here, but it's not that bad. I figured there'd be more people here. Oh, you got them? Yeah, the girl shows. Abigail was right where they were. I just didn't look far enough. Oh, good. All right. So, are we ready? Yep, we're ready. There's another tree that went down. Holy moly, look at the size of that. Wow, there's got to be like 20 people working on that telephone pole. They at least got a new pole up. But still far from being done. They're still hooking up wires down the street there. And roads are still closed, obviously. I can't see a lot of trees. All right, so it's night out here on Saturday night. And it's pouring rain like crazy we got the rivers flowing right here let me uh, fix my light All right, one good thing about it being in the middle of a hurricane right now, I'm in the attic. Let me show you around the attic. This is what it looks like up in our attic. I climb on those boards to get back here. I really shouldn't be standing where I am, but uh, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but there is a leak dripping through the attic roof. Ever since we got the roof fixed um it would take a severe rain like this for it to leak so now i'm gonna fix it all right so i googled it real quick once i got downstairs from the attic and uh guess what they say go get some flex seal so guess what i got 10 minutes to get to lowe's or home depot and hopefully they have flex seal all right so i was talking earlier about the grocery store being quiet this place is super quiet 10 minutes to close. I gotta get out of here. So we out of here. I got my flex seal. Hopefully I'll be good to go. Um, hopefully I make it home in one piece. It's really windy out. I 
doubt you can see it coming across. It's windier than I thought it was out here. Hope we keep the uh, power on all night. All right, good morning. It is Sunday. I'm out front. Um, as you can see, there's obviously it's been raining all night. Huge amounts of rain through the night. It's kind of been like this all night long. Just a steady, steady rain. Also, you can see leaves and stuff have blown out of the trees from it being so windy last night. You can hear the trees blowing all over the place. The ones in the backyard, the ones in the front yard, the ones in the side yard up the street. And as you can see, we have leaves all in the side of the road. We've got water coming down from all these houses up here and water going into all these drains. I have four in my front yard. They're draining pretty well so far. You see that that was one back there, two, three on the right side, and then one in front of our house. Um, what I'm worried about is getting all the leaves down here, so I'm gonna have to clean that out. And then basically all the water goes through this drain, underneath the house, to the backyard, and out into a culvert, which we're gonna see later. So here's the rear of our house. Basically all the water funnels to the backyard. Comes into a, the side yard and then it comes down through here. It all funnels down here through the backyard. And there's our low lying, lying area, which has a culvert. That's what I'm worried most about. All right, as you can see, it's really, really overgrown back here which is surprising because I don't remember it being like this. But also, all these yards funnel back to here as well. This grass is all saturated. As you can see, it's coming down through here. And then, I doubt, or I'm gonna highlight the part that's basically the running water down there. It doesn't look too bad. All the water runs in that direction. It goes down through the common area back here and then out into the country club. I'm not worried about the wind. I'm not worried about the trees falling. I'm not worried about much at all from this storm. But what I am worried about is the amount of rain we get way too quickly. And that's coming up. The heaviest amounts of rain that we've seen are coming to us. They will be here for the next few hours. We will have to wait this out and hopefully survive it. All right, so now we're going out. The car door is open. I don't know what people are thinking. Yeah, get in the back. Way back. Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Abigail and the girl have to go in the back. That doesn't matter. Watch out. I get your pretty little behind in the house car. In the car. All right, where are we going? We're going out to dinner, breakfast, IHOP. All right, so we made it to our destination. We're going to the IHOP for breakfast. There's gonna be ten of us. Oh, you have the braces on now. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they look good. The wire on the top. How do one. they feel? Okay. She's looking pretty good. Okay. The allergist, she's allergic to yes, it's tomato and pop and wheat. There you go, baby. And tomato, oh, she's thank really you. allergic too, which she doesn't like. <laughs> Are you vlogging? Yeah. Vlog, okay, vlog. Vlog, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Ow! Stop it! Are you okay, Abigail? No. <laughs> Go back down! You're not my like, No, everyone's turn. No, everyone Three. put your hands on the table so she can't go up. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Megan wants to get it. Vlog. Follow Maggie Aggie for my vlogs on Finsta. Finsta? Yeah, Finsta. Fake Insta. It's face Madison. Yeah. Face Madison. Face, face no, Madison. Face. No. Yeah. Face. Look at Madison's beautiful face. Face. 
Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> no, put your arms out like you're super. Oh. <laughs> no, come on. I hope she can wear. I gotta have her. Quit finding things their size. What's up, Abigail? How do I open it? You gotta push it. Bring it over here. Hey. No, you don't get it. No. Hey. <laughs> hey, bugger. That's a small <laughs> camera. It's a GoPro. Don't drop it. Ew, it almost is your mom. <laughs> Wait, let me see it. <laughs> don't drop it. Hey, GoPro. Ah, how's that? Hey, guys. So, uh, we're just sitting here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have. I have. This I feel like we always, yeah. Let's go show my dad the plug. Come on. Yeah. Yes, come on. And the vlog. <laughs>
I did. I mean, you had steak. Even though you cooked it. Yeah, I cooked the steak. Well, but I shopped for it. Okay. Se up, 17 order. times at the grocery store. Yes, that's true. I can only imagine the money to spend. I should just total it up. Ah, what can you do? What can you do? All right, well, I think we're done. I think Florence has uh, finished her wrath here in, in my neck of the woods. Um, there's always flooding to worry about, but for the most part, I was just worried about the rain. So I think we've uh, overcome the bad part, fingers crossed. Um, Hurricane Flo, you, <laughs> you were huge. <laughs>